everyone all right so i haven't been here in a while on this website and um yeah because everything has been stressful and life has gotten in the way but now i'm back and i have decided to completely eliminate background music and fancy touches on my videos and um you know intros and outros because that takes up time and I don't like them. So we're just not going to do those. Um, if you notice anything different, yes, my makeup has evolved over time and I have bangs. So yeah, but today's video is going to be about entropy and existentialism and how our bodies are actually burning as we all speak and live, which is quite interesting. And I consider myself quite an existentialist. And so I just thought I would share these really cool facts with you real quick. So something that really sparked my interest about this was of course, I'm very interested in existentialism, but the principle of entropy, as stated by the second law of thermodynamics in physics, it involves the flow of what we call time, because time to us is actually just a concept. It hasn't really been proven. Entropy is also said to be the force behind Murphy's Law, which states that anything that could go wrong does go wrong at some point, which I know is very comforting. And simply put, well, not really simply put, but entropy is the principle that says that Everything in the universe is in a constant state of dissipation. So everything breaks down, everything dies, everything disappears. Um, although atoms don't disappear or anything, they always exist, but they've existed since the beginning of time. But essentially everything goes away. So of course, very existentialist, hashtag existentialism. And there is no substantial evidence to this theory because this theory has not yet really been proven and it didn't arise from a pre-existing theory, which most things do, and then you have a basis for it, but then even those theories that they're based on may not necessarily be proven. Anyway, our world is so complex, no one can make sense of it. Um, which is completely fascinating. But something that I think proves this idea is the fact that we are all burning alive um, b due to breathing in oxygen. Because the oxygen, it, um, it, it burns us through oxidation um, because the more oxygen we get in our bodies, um, most of the oxygen that we inhale um, and that goes through our bodies and through all of the bodily functions and processes and systems and all of this, a lot of it actually is emitted um, in the form of free radicals, which are very dangerous because they wreak havoc on your body and your, your bodily functions. And um, these radicals actually then um, cause us to burn alive um, through lipid peroxidation, um, which deals with the cell membrane or the membranes of organelles, which are the little um, body parts in cells. And, um, and it breaks it all down and then we are essentially burning alive. Now I know that this is a very, very basic overview of all of this, but I just thought it was really interesting and I really like to talk about it. So this was a really short video, but um, I just wanted to share because I really find all of this fascinating. Um, who knows, I'll, I'll, I'll make a lot, of, <laughs> a lot more videos with a lot of other interesting facts that I um, find. But um, the links are going to be down below of the sources that I used um, for this video. I was not sponsored by um, these sources, these websites or anything, um, but I just used them to get some more background knowledge on what I already learned. Um, so, yeah, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, just like do all the, you know, youtube -y things if you feel like it. And um, yeah, there you go. Entropy, burning alive, existentialism.